Okay, a little addendum to the Korg CX-3 motherboard replacement video. Um, I thought we had it, and we were playing it for a while, and then it happened again. And after a little research, uh, someone thought that maybe some glitches in the, this is the main power supply for Korg CX-3. I'm just putting my phone at the computer right now. The part number is KLM2090. It's also the same part, the same power supply that Korg uses for their Triton. Um, I pulled the power supply from that Korg CX-3, cleaned all the contacts, tested, uh, the capacitors and replaced this one right there which was uh 3300 uf i think it's a 50 volt cap um whatever i had one ex that was exactly that touched all the other caps and the the um and some of the other uh, points on the bottom of the board with the soldering iron, um, you know, just made sure that none of the traces were had microscopic cracks. And after this power supply kind of uh, job and the motherboard replacement, it is now we can officially say that this thing is fixed. But um, it may have just been this power supply and replacing the motherboard was unnecessary but these digital things are very ghosty and um, I suppose we will never know but anyways uh, hopefully some of you can benefit from this little five-part series if you're having problems with your Korg CX-3 okay good night